My name is Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. Man, I got a neat one today. Uh, I'm weird when it comes to steak sauce. I shouldn't say that. I'm weird when it comes to steak. I, I'm a carnivore, big time, and I like the taste of steak. So there's very few uh, sauces I'll put on steak. This one sounds really neat. In fact, it's kind of a funny thing. Completely independent of me doing this review today. Yesterday, I was sitting around with my son. I'm like, let's get a steak tomorrow. So tonight, uh, my son and I are going to have steaks for dinner. So I might put this on my... I'm definitely going to try it. Um, guys, this is South Shore Heat Works number six sauce. I like the name. Um, good guys. I, I, over the years, I'm telling you, my relationship with uh, these guys go back to the very beginning of the channel. I think I was friends with with Andrew. I think before maybe a couple hundred people were on the bus. I mean, really way back. This is tomato puree, corn syrup, white vinegar, malt vinegar, salt, raisin juice concentrate. I didn't even know they made that. Uh, mustard flour, turmeric spices, apple puree, potas sorbate. I'll need to. I'll research that when we're done. Garlic, onion, and the heat, the mighty boot jalokia or ghost pepper. Pretty sauce. There's the, gives you an idea of the consistency. Super excited to try this. You know, when I got really into uh, putting nothing on my steaks, this is a true story. I, I visited a friend of mine. My friend, uh, I've known this guy for, like most of my life. I met him when I was 18. He's like one of my greatest friends in the world. His name is Doug. I call him Dougla. <laughs> but I've, I got some of the craziest, most amazing. You gotta know I knew him back when I was younger and a little bit more unhinged. So I have some amazing, crazy stories with this guy, Doug. But he's such a wonderful dude. And one day I was visiting, I was living in Texas and I was flying to Vermont to spend time with him. I hadn't seen him in a while. And uh, I got there, and he, he's just a stellar stand-up guy. He drove to Canada uh, to get, at the time, my favorite beer at the time was Bredore. I don't even know if they make it anymore. But at the time, the big appeal to me was, back when I was a drinker, uh, it was like 9% alcohol compared to the regular beer. So if you got a six-pack, you were good for the evening or more. So he went to Canada and got Bredore beer from him. This guy is just such a good dude. Um, and he got filet mignon and we were cooking inside. It was winter time. It was storming out, big snowstorm. And uh, I was having a beer in the living room. He comes out from the kitchen and goes, I got good news and bad news. I said, what's the good news? He goes, these steaks look great. I'm like, oh, perfect. What's the bad news? He goes, the stove is broken. He goes, what do you want to do? I'm like, let's eat them. So we ate them raw. And uh, that set me on a tear. I, I, you know, when I was married to my kid's mom, on my birthday every year, uh, she'd make steak tartare. And it was just like she'd get uh, filet mignon ground up and she'd put it in a little ball on the plate and she'd make a little indentational divot and just an egg yolk with some coarse salt. And man, that was my thing for a while. Then somewhere along the line, she read that that was gonna kill me young, so she put an end to that did it on my own when she wasn't around. Uh, but uh, that kind of, I, I, I like steak. I'm a carnivore, man. Um, number six sauce. Ooh. You can smell the tomato. It's got kind of a savory aroma. Pick a little bit of the garlic up. Really eager to try this. I'm trying it on my Chase the Heat spoon. Here's the pour, people. All right, guys. So from my good friends at South Shore Heat Works, this could be your thumbnail. Sauce number six. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat.
neat, very savory, got a great flavor. Just enough ghost pepper bite. The onion and the garlic is beautiful. Interesting, it's got malt vinegar and white vinegar in there. When you use multiple vinegars, what it does is it adds a complexity. I learned that years and years ago. Very few sauce makers will use multiple uh, vinegars, but it really does add a complexity. You don't get with it with just one. Man, I'm gonna have to, you know, I was gonna reserve my decision till after I, whether I was gonna put it on my steak tonight till after I tasted it, but the taste is beautiful. It's a great steak sauce. This should also be great on burgers, on a brat. Very, very tasty. The heat on it, it's mild. I mean, the, the last uh, ingredient is ghost pepper. So if you're somebody who's never uh, eaten hot before, this would be pretty warm for you. It wouldn't be uh, crippling. So if you did it uh, very little bit, I think you'd enjoy it. Um, if you're a heat lover, what a great finish on it too. The finish is lovely. Mid midway heat, maybe five if you're a heat lover. Taste is fantastic though. It's gonna be really, really good on the steak. I'm gonna try it tonight. So Andrew and Chance, Thank you guys so much. South Shore Heatworks, big fans. Very, very flavorful. The raisin juice concentrate, I gotta believe that's adding something really spectacular. I'm not really tasting the raisin, but it's what, to me, anytime you have a sauce where there's an ingredient you can't taste, I give you my word, if you eliminate that ingredient, the sauce is different, clearly. So the, all of this comes together to make a really nice flavored sauce. Absolutely. Guys, I'm gonna put uh, the link um, for South Shore Heat Works in the description box. Every time I do a review of them, I get these flood of, where can I buy that, where can I buy that? He's a hobbyist. The guy should be a pro. But in the description box, you're gonna see a link for him. Reach out and become friends with the guy. He's a good guy to know. He's a good dude. Um, so that was South Shore Heatworks, sauce number six, or number six sauce. Fantastic. Now, here's your charge, and mine as well. Let's make this week fantastic. It's up to us. My week's up to me. Your week's up to you. I used to, well, I used to, it's funny, when I, years ago, I was working for a company, and I started doing these daily affirmations, you know? And one of the ones, I would say in the morning when I was shaving, and I would say, if it's going to be, it's up to me. It's a great way to, no one's going to do it for you. So be positive, be encouraging, be a support for others. And I promise you, it just comes back around. It's how it works. So in the description box, you're going to see South Shore Heat Works. Check them out. Tell them I sent you. Right there, that's the pepper. If you click that pepper, by the way, I didn't take my sauce, bro. Um, right there is a the pepper. If you click that pepper, um, you're riding with me. We're doing this all together, you guys. If you don't want to miss a video because spicy content is your giant buffet breakfast, then tell you what, click that bell for notification, but visit us a lot. Because what happens is YouTube just, they're neglectful when it comes to sending out those notifications. The opposite of that though is you guys are great by stopping by and seeing so you don't miss any. So come by and visit us so you don't miss any videos. Right there is League of Fire. More videos. Thanks for watching and hanging out with me. Let's go get it. I'm Johnny Scoville. This was Chase the Heat.